Explore the captivating world of Aztec mythology, where powerful deities ruled the cosmos. From the god of rain and fertility Tlaloc, to the sun god Huitzilopochtli, the fierce warrior who led the Aztecs, these figures shaped the Aztec worldview. Delve into the intricate pantheon that included Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent associated with knowledge and wind, and Quatlique, the earth goddess who gave birth to the moon and stars. Discover the deep symbolism and rituals that were central to Aztec religious practice. Join us on a journey through this rich cultural legacy and uncover the fascinating tales of the Aztec gods that continue to captivate audiences today. Let the video begin. Tlaloc Tlaloc is a central figure in Aztec mythology, revered as the powerful god of rain and water. His influence extended beyond mere weather patterns, deeply intertwining with the daily lives and spiritual practices of the Aztec people. As the god of rain and water, Tlaloc controlled the vital resources necessary for survival and prosperity. His ability to bring forth life-giving rain made him a crucial deity, ensuring the sustenance of crops and, by extension, the well-being of the community. The name Tlaloc derives from the Nahuatl language, offering insights into his dominion over the earth and water. This etymology underscores his integral role in the natural world, highlighting the deep connection between language, culture, and belief. Tlaloc was often depicted with distinct iconography, including goggle-like eyes and fangs, symbolizing his dual nature as both a giver of life and a harbinger of destructive storms. These symbols served as powerful reminders of his omnipotence and fearsome capabilities. In Aztec society, Tlaloc was essential for agriculture, directly influencing crop yields and food supply. Farmers and priests alike sought his favor through rituals and offerings, understanding that their livelihoods depended on his benevolence and the timely arrival of rains. Tlaloc's connection to fertility and growth was vital in Aztec society. As the god of rain and water, he ensured bountiful harvests, which were crucial for the sustenance of the community. His blessings were synonymous with life and prosperity. Tlaloc's physical appearance was both fearsome and awe-inspiring. He was often depicted with goggle-like eyes and fangs, symbolizing his power over the elements. His visage reminded worshippers of his dual nature, capable of bringing both nourishing rains and devastating storms. The frog was Tlaloc's sacred animal, embodying his connection to water and fertility. Frogs were abundant in wet, fertile areas, and their croaking signaled the arrival of rain. This association further cemented Tlaloc's role as a life-giving deity. Maize, the staple crop of the Aztecs, was regarded as Tlaloc's sacred plant. It symbolized the sustenance provided by the god through rainfall. Successful maize harvests were seen as direct blessings from Tlaloc, reinforcing his importance in agricultural and daily life. The Tlalocan was Tlaloc's divine realm, a paradise of eternal spring and abundance. Souls of those who died by drowning or lightning were believed to reside here. This utopian afterlife underscored Tlaloc's dominion over water and his essential role in the cycle of life. Tlaloc's temples and worship sites were integral to Aztec religious practices, often adorned with vibrant murals and sculptures. These sacred spaces were strategically located near water sources, reflecting his dominion over rain and fertility, vital for agricultural success. Rituals and ceremonies dedicated to Tlaloc were elaborate and frequent, emphasizing his importance in ensuring rain and bountiful harvests. Offerings included food, flowers, and precious stones, symbolizing the community's reverence and dependence on his favor for sustenance and prosperity. Human sacrifices in Tlaloc's honor were grim yet significant, believed to appease him and guarantee seasonal rains. Victims, often children, were chosen for their purity, and their tears were symbolic of the rain Tlaloc controlled, ensuring agricultural fertility. The Tlaloc vessel, a crucial offering, 
was intricately designed, often containing jade and other valuable items. These vessels were buried in sacred locations or placed in temples, signifying the community's devotion and their plea for Tlaloc's benevolence and life-sustaining reigns. Tlaloc's relationship with Kalkayatlaku, the Earth Goddess, underscored the interconnectedness of water and Earth. As consorts, their union symbolized the essential balance of elements, promoting fertility, growth, and the cyclical nature of life, central to Aztec cosmology. Tlaloc held a prominent position within the Aztec pantheon, revered as a powerful deity governing vital aspects of life and nature. His influence extended into agriculture, weather, and fertility, making him indispensable to the Aztec way of life and spirituality. In Aztec mythology, Tlaloc featured in numerous stories, often illustrating his dual nature. One such tale recounts how he unleashed a great flood to cleanse the world, demonstrating both his nurturing and destructive capabilities. These myths embody his complex character. Tlaloc's significance permeated the Aztec calendar, with ceremonies and festivals dedicated to him. These events often coincided with important agricultural cycles, emphasizing his critical role in ensuring bountiful harvests and sustaining the community's well-being. Comparisons between Tlaloc and other rain deities from various cultures reveal shared themes of water and fertility. Despite cultural differences, these deities often symbolize life-giving forces underscoring the universal human reliance on rain and agriculture for survival. In the Aztec creation myth, Tlaloc played a vital role in shaping the world. His ability to control rain and water was essential for nurturing life and maintaining balance, further solidifying his status as a key figure in the Aztec cosmology. Tlaloc embodies a dual nature, with his power to nourish with rain and devastate with storms. This duality reflects the Aztec understanding of life's balance, recognizing that creation and destruction are two sides of the same divine force. The festival of Alcahualo was dedicated to Tlaloc, involving various rituals to ensure favorable rains. Held during the dry season, this festival included offerings, dances, and songs, highlighting Tlaloc's critical role in sustaining the agricultural cycle. Tlaloc's priests played a vital role in Aztec society, performing rituals to appease the god and ensure timely rains. Their duties included conducting ceremonies, interpreting omens, and maintaining temples, thus bridging the divine and the earthly realms. Tlaloc's influence extends to modern Mexican culture, where ancient traditions and symbols persist. Festivals, art, and folklore still reflect his significance, demonstrating how deeply embedded Tlaloc is in the cultural and spiritual fabric of the region. Archaeological findings, such as Tlaloc's temples and artifacts, offer insights into ancient worship practices. These discoveries reveal the extensive and elaborate nature of the rituals and the importance placed on Tlaloc within the Aztec civilization. Archaeological discoveries have unearthed numerous artifacts and sites dedicated to Tlaloc, shedding light on the deity's significance in Aztec culture. These findings include intricately carved statues, ceremonial vessels, and temple ruins, offering invaluable insights into the rituals and worship practices of ancient civilizations. Tlaloc's influence extended beyond the temple walls, permeating various aspects of the Aztec economy. As the god of rain and water, his favor was essential for bountiful harvests, directly impacting agricultural productivity and, consequently, the prosperity of the Aztec society. In post-conquest Mexican folklore, Tlaloc continues to be a prominent figure, symbolizing the enduring connection between the past and present. Stories and legends passed down through generations highlight his significance, reflecting the lasting cultural impact of pre-Columbian beliefs and traditions. Scholars have offered diverse interpretations of Tlaloc's role and importance, examining his dual nature as both a benevolent provider and a destructive force. 
These academic perspectives deepen our understanding of how the Aztecs perceived and interacted with their deities, enriching the study of ancient Mesoamerican religions. Chicamcotl Chicamcotl stands as a revered figure in Aztec mythology, embodying the essence of sustenance and life. As a deity deeply rooted in agriculture, her influence permeates various aspects of Aztec society, underscoring the civilization's dependence on the bounty of the earth. Her name, Chicamcotl, translates to Seven Serpent, reflecting the sacred and mystical nature attributed to her. This etymology encompasses both fertility and abundance, symbolizing the critical role of maize in Aztec culture and ensuring prosperity through agricultural cycles. In the grand tapestry of Aztec religion, Chicamcotl is a pivotal figure, often invoked for bountiful harvests. Her presence in rituals and ceremonies underscores the Aztecs' reliance on divine intervention for agricultural success and societal well-being. As the goddess of agriculture, Chicamcotl is intrinsically linked to the cultivation of maize, a staple of the Aztec diet. This connection highlights her significance, as the survival and growth of the civilization hinged on successful and plentiful maize harvests. Maize, considered a divine gift in Aztec culture, was not just a food source but a symbol of life itself. Its importance is reflected in the numerous festivals and rituals dedicated to Chicamcotl, celebrating the crop's central role in sustaining the Aztec people. Chicamcotl is often depicted in Aztec, art adorned with symbols representing fertility and abundance. She is frequently shown holding ears of maize, signifying her vital role in agriculture. Her imagery emphasizes the life-sustaining power of maize in Aztec culture. In Aztec religion, Chicamcotl holds a prominent place as the goddess of agriculture, responsible for ensuring bountiful harvests. She embodies the sustenance and nourishment provided by maize, which was a staple in the Aztec diet and crucial for their survival. As the goddess of agriculture, Chicamcotl's influence extends to every aspect of farming. She is revered for her ability to bring forth plentiful crops, her blessings were sought by farmers, who performed rituals to ensure her favor for their fields. Maize was central to Aztec culture, symbolizing life and prosperity. It was more than just sustenance. It was a sacred element deeply intertwined with their spiritual beliefs. Its importance is reflected in the veneration of Chicamcotl, the goddess who personified this essential crop. Chicamcotl's mythology includes various narratives that highlight her significance. These stories often emphasize her power to provide and sustain life through agriculture. Myths involving her underscore the essential relationship between the Aztecs and their reliance on the Earth's bounty. The number seven in Chicamcotl's name holds deep significance, representing abundance and sustenance in Aztec culture. It symbolizes the seven phases of maize cultivation, echoing the goddess's vital role in ensuring crop fertility and agricultural prosperity for her people. Chicamcotl's influence on Aztec agricultural practices was profound. She guided the planting, growing, and harvesting of maize, ensuring bountiful yields. Her teachings shaped farming techniques and rituals, emphasizing the importance of respecting and nurturing the earth to sustain life. The concept of duality permeated Aztec belief, embodied in Chicamcotl's nature. She represented both life and death, growth and decay, embodying the cyclical nature of existence. This duality reinforced the interconnectedness of all things in Aztec cosmology. Artistic representations of Chicamcotl often depicted her with symbols of maize and fertility. She was portrayed holding ears of corn or adorned with maize motifs, emphasizing her role as the life-giving force behind the essential crop that sustained the Aztec people. Sacred spaces and temples dedicated to Chicamcotl were integral to her worship. These sites served as centers for rituals, offerings, and agricultural ceremonies. 
They were places where priests and priestesses sought her blessings, ensuring the fertility and prosperity of their lands. Chikamkotal is frequently mentioned in historical texts and codices, highlighting her importance in Aztec society. These documents offer invaluable insights into her role and the rituals performed in her honor, underscoring her significance as a deity of agriculture and sustenance. Priests and priestesses dedicated to Chikamkotal played crucial roles in Aztec society. They conducted elaborate ceremonies and rituals to ensure bountiful harvests. Their expertise was vital for maintaining the religious and agricultural cycles that sustained the community, reflecting Chikamkotal's importance. In modern interpretations, Chikamkotal's cultural significance is being revived. Scholars and indigenous communities are re-examining her role and symbolism. This renewed interest emphasizes her enduring legacy and the ongoing relevance of Aztec agricultural traditions in contemporary cultural practices and identity. Comparative analysis with other agricultural deities reveals similarities and differences. While Chikamkotal shares common traits with deities from other cultures, such as fertility and harvest, her unique attributes and rituals highlight the distinctiveness of Aztec mythology and its rich agricultural heritage. Chikamkotal profoundly impacted Aztec social structure. As the goddess of agriculture, she influenced the organization of labor and communal activities. Her worship fostered a sense of unity and purpose among the Aztecs, reinforcing social cohesion through shared agricultural practices and religious rituals. Chikamkotal's connection to human sacrifice underscores her importance in Aztec religion, where offerings ensured agricultural abundance. Rituals often included blood offerings, symbolizing life's cyclical nature and appeasing gods for a bountiful maize harvest, vital for sustaining the community. Agricultural cycles deeply intertwined with Chikamkotal's influence as she governed the planting and harvesting seasons. Farmers performed ceremonies to invoke her blessings, ensuring successful crops. This cyclical rhythm mirrored the Aztec belief in the interconnectedness of life, death, and rebirth. In Aztec cosmology, Chikamkotal held a crucial role as the embodiment of sustenance and fertility. As the goddess of maize, she was central to the cosmic order representing life-giving forces that sustained the universe and upheld the delicate balance of existence. Corn symbolism in Chikamkotal's imagery highlights its sacredness in Aztec culture. Depictions often feature her with ears of maize, emphasizing the crop's divine status. This imagery reinforced the essential role of maize in daily life and spiritual practices. Post-conquest, Chikamkotal myths underwent transformation as indigenous beliefs blended with European influences. Despite these changes, her legacy persisted through adapted rituals and storytelling, preserving her significance in cultural memory and highlighting the resilience of Aztec traditions. Chikamkotal remains a significant figure in contemporary Mexican culture, symbolizing fertility and abundance. Her image is often invoked in festivals and art, celebrating the enduring connection between the people and their agricultural roots. Reverence for Chikamkotal continues to inspire cultural pride. Seasonal celebrations in Mexico, such as harvest festivals, incorporate elements honoring Chikamkotal. These events highlight traditional agricultural practices and pay homage to the goddess's role in ensuring bountiful crops. Her influence is evident in the rituals and offerings made during these vibrant festivities. The legacy of Chikamkotal endures in indigenous traditions, where her myths and symbols are preserved and revered. Communities continue to honor her through storytelling, ceremonies, and the cultivation of maize, acknowledging her importance in their cultural heritage and agricultural success. Chikamkotal's influence extends to modern agricultural practices where sustainable farming techniques reflect ancient principles attributed to her. Farmers draw on her legacy to promote crop diversity and ecological balance, 
ensuring the continuation of time-honored methods that have sustained generations. Tezcat Lipoca Tezcat Lipoca, known as the Smoking Mirror, was a central deity in Aztec religion. Revered for his enigmatic and multifaceted nature, he wielded significant influence over various aspects of life, embodying both creation and destruction. In Aztec cosmology, Tezcatlipoca played a crucial role as a powerful god who could shape the destiny of the world. His presence was felt in the cycles of creation and destruction, illustrating the duality inherent in Aztec beliefs. Tezcatlipoca's name, meaning smoking mirror, symbolizes his connection to obsidian mirrors used in divination. These mirrors reflected his ability to see beyond the physical realm, revealing hidden truths and the deeper mysteries of existence. Tezcatlipoca embodied both creation and destruction, a dual nature that defined his essence. As a creator, he brought forth life and order, while as a destroyer, he unleashed chaos and transformation, maintaining the balance of the universe. Tezcatlipoca's appearance was striking, often depicted with black stripes and a missing foot replaced by an obsidian mirror. This imagery reinforced his connection to darkness, mystery, and his ability to see into the spiritual world. Tezcatlipoca's smoking mirror symbolizes his omnipotence and omnipresence, reflecting the duality of creation and destruction. It is a portal to other realms and a tool for divination, emphasizing his role as a deity of fate and destiny. Among the four Tezcatlipocas, Tezcatlipoca represents the north and embodies darkness and chaos. Each Tezcatlipoca governs a cardinal direction and color, highlighting the interconnectedness of their roles in maintaining cosmic balance within Aztec cosmology. Tezcatlipoca and Quetzalcoatl share a complex relationship marked by rivalry and cooperation. Their interactions shape the cosmos, influencing creation myths and the cyclical nature of time. This dynamic underscores the balance between opposing forces necessary for universal harmony. In Aztec creation myths, Tezcatlipoca is a pivotal figure. He plays crucial roles in shaping the world, often in opposition to other deities. His actions emphasize the themes of destruction and rebirth, integral to the Aztec understanding of the universe. The myth of the five suns highlights Tezcatlipoca's influence on the cosmic order. Each sun represents an era, and Tezcatlipoca's actions often lead to their destruction and renewal. This cyclical process underscores the transient nature of existence and the perpetual cycle of creation. Tezcatlipoca held immense influence over Aztec kingship, embodying the divine authority and cosmic power crucial for a ruler's legitimacy. Kings often sought his favor through rituals, believing that Tezcatlipoca granted them the wisdom and strength necessary to govern effectively. Rituals and ceremonies dedicated to Tezcatlipoca were elaborate and central to Aztec religious life. These practices ranged from offerings of food and incense to more complex rites involving symbolic acts that sought the gods' favor and protection for the community. Human sacrifice played a significant role in Tezcatlipoca worship, reflecting the Aztec belief in the necessity of blood offerings to sustain the gods. Victims were often treated with honor, symbolizing their crucial role in maintaining cosmic balance and divine favor. The Festival of Toxcatl was a major event in Tezcatlipoca's honor, marked by a month-long series of rituals culminating in a sacrificial ceremony. This festival underscored the god's power and the community's dependence on his benevolence for their survival and prosperity. Tezcatlipoca was closely associated with night and darkness, embodying the mysterious and often feared aspects of the cosmos. His connection to these elements highlighted his role as a deity of both creation and destruction, influencing the natural and supernatural realms. The jaguar, a powerful and revered animal, symbolizes Tezcatlipoca's ferocity and stealth. As a formidable predator, 
The jaguar embodies the god's connection to night and darkness, reinforcing his association with the mysterious and the unknown, both feared and respected. Tezcatlipoca's influence extended to Aztec warfare, where his attributes were invoked for strength and victory. Warriors sought his favor, believing his fierce and cunning nature would guide them in battle, ensuring success and dominance over their enemies. Prophecies and omens played a significant role in Aztec culture, with Tezcatlipoca often seen as a harbinger of fate. His duality represented both the potential for creation and destruction, making him central to understanding and interpreting the future. Tezcatlipoca's temples and shrines were places of reverence where offerings were made to gain his favor. These sacred spaces served as focal points for worship, reflecting his importance in the spiritual and daily lives of the Aztec people. Priests dedicated to Tezcatlipoca performed rituals and ceremonies to honor him, maintaining a close connection with the divine. Their duties included interpreting his will, conducting sacrifices, and ensuring the gods' influence remained strong within the community, guiding them through life's challenges. Tezcatlipoca in Aztec art and sculpture often portrays his enigmatic and powerful nature. His depictions feature a smoking mirror, jaguar imagery, and obsidian elements. These artistic representations emphasize his dual role as a creator and destroyer, reflecting his complex mythology. Aztec codices, the painted manuscripts, vividly illustrate Tezcatlipoca's stories and attributes. These ancient texts capture his mystical essence, showcasing his interactions with other deities and his influence on cosmic events. Codices serve as a vital source for understanding Tezcatlipoca's cultural significance. Tezcatlipoca's influence permeated Aztec society and culture, shaping their worldview and daily life. Reverence for this god was evident in rituals, social hierarchy, and governance. His dual nature symbolized the balance between order and chaos, a central theme in Aztec thought. Tezcatlipoca's duality is a metaphor for the Aztec belief in the coexistence of order and chaos. This dual nature reflects life's unpredictable and cyclical aspects. Tezcatlipoca embodies the delicate balance between creation and destruction, essential for cosmic harmony. In Aztec afterlife beliefs, Tezcatlipoca played a pivotal role. He guided souls through the underworld, embodying the journey between life and death. His influence underscores the Aztec view of mortality and the eternal cycle of existence, emphasizing transformation and renewal. Tezcatlipoca shares intriguing similarities with deities from other cultures, such as Loki from Norse mythology or Shiva from Hindu tradition. These gods also embody duality, representing both creation and destruction, reflecting the universal theme of balance in mythologies worldwide. In modern interpretations and media, Tezcatlipoca often appears as a complex character, embodying the enigmatic nature of ancient deities. His portrayal ranges from dark, malevolent forces to misunderstood tricksters, echoing the diverse aspects of his mythological persona. The legacy of Tezcatlipoca endures in contemporary Mexico through cultural festivals, art, and academic study. Despite the passage of time, his influence remains evident, showcasing the enduring power of Aztec mythology in shaping national identity and cultural expression. The Spanish conquest significantly altered Tezcatlipoca worship, blending indigenous beliefs with Christian elements. While traditional practices were suppressed, the core aspects of Tezcatlipoca's mythology persisted, adapting to new religious contexts and continuing to influence local traditions and folklore. Quetzalcoatl Quetzalcoatl is a central figure in Aztec mythology, revered as a god of great significance. Known as the Feathered Serpent, he embodies a unique blend of avian and reptilian characteristics, symbolizing both celestial and terrestrial realms. 
The name Quetzalcoatl derives from the Nahuatl language, combining Quetzal, a vibrant, green-feathered bird, and Kotal, serpent. This etymology highlights his dual nature, representing the harmonious union of sky and earth, spirit and matter. In Aztec art, Quetzalcoatl is often depicted as a serpent adorned with bright feathers or as a human with serpent-like features. These images underscore his mystical and transformative qualities, making him a visually striking deity in Mesoamerican iconography. Quetzalcoatl holds a prominent place in the Aztec pantheon, considered one of the primary gods. He is associated with creation, wisdom, and the fostering of civilization. His influence permeates various aspects of Aztec life, from religion to governance. As the god of wind and air, Quetzalcoatl is believed to control the vital forces of nature. His breath is thought to bring life and sustenance, emphasizing his role in maintaining balance and harmony within the natural world. Quetzalcoatl's association with the planet Venus underscores his dual nature as both the morning and evening star. This celestial connection imbued him with the power to traverse the heavens, linking the earth and the divine realms in Aztec cosmology. In Aztec art, Quetzalcoatl is often depicted as a feathered serpent, symbolizing his dual nature. This iconic representation emphasizes his role as a bridge between the earthly and celestial, embodying both the physical and spiritual realms simultaneously. As a prominent figure in the Aztec pantheon, Quetzalcoatl held numerous responsibilities. Revered as a creator deity, he played a crucial role in the formation of the world and humanity, guiding the Aztecs through his divine wisdom and influence. Quetzalcoatl's dominion over wind and air further highlighted his importance. He was believed to control the vital breaths of life and the natural elements, which were essential for agricultural success and the overall well-being of the Aztec people. Quetzalcoatl's influence extended to various religious practices within Aztec society. Rituals and ceremonies often invoked his name, seeking his blessings for fertility, prosperity, and protection. His presence permeated every aspect of life, underscoring the profound impact he had on the Aztec civilization. Quetzalcoatl's birth is steeped in myth, often depicted as a miraculous event involving divine intervention. His early life was marked by extraordinary feats, showcasing his wisdom and strength. Legends tell of his transformative journeys and the lessons he imparted to humanity. As a cultural hero and teacher, Quetzalcoatl brought civilization to the Aztecs. He introduced agriculture, crafts, and knowledge. His teachings emphasized ethics and societal order, shaping the cultural and spiritual development of the Aztec people profoundly. The myth of Quetzalcoatl's departure is a tale of loss and hope. Driven away by betrayal or self-imposed exile, he promised to return. This prophecy influenced Aztec beliefs and was later misinterpreted during the Spanish conquest, altering history. Human sacrifices were offered to Quetzalcoatl, though he is often depicted as opposing such practices. These offerings were believed to sustain the gods and ensure cosmic balance. His complex relationship with sacrifice reflects broader Aztec religious and cultural tensions. Quetzalcoatl's connection to agriculture and fertility is intrinsic to his role as a benefactor. He taught the Aztecs to cultivate maize, a staple crop. His influence ensured agricultural prosperity, linking him to the cycles of planting and harvest. Quetzalcoatl played a central role in Aztec cosmology, embodying the cyclical nature of life and the universe. As a deity of wind and air, he symbolized transformation and movement, essential for the balance of cosmic forces. In Aztec politics and leadership, Quetzalcoatl was revered as a model of ethical governance. His teachings emphasized wisdom and justice, guiding rulers to lead with integrity. 
This divine example reinforced the legitimacy and moral authority of Aztec leaders. The myth of Quetzalcoatl's creation of humans highlights his benevolence and ingenuity. He journeyed to the underworld to retrieve sacred bones, mixing them with his blood to create mankind, demonstrating his profound commitment to human life and prosperity. Quetzalcoatl's opposition to human sacrifice distinguished him from other deities. He advocated for offerings of flowers and food instead, promoting a more compassionate form of worship. This stance influenced various aspects of Aztec religious practice, emphasizing life and renewal. Quetzalcoatl held significant importance in Aztec festivals and ceremonies, particularly those marking agricultural cycles and celestial events. His presence ensured bountiful harvests and cosmic harmony, making him a vital figure in the spiritual and communal life of the Aztecs. Quetzalcoatl's presence in Aztec temples and architecture is profoundly symbolic. His image, often depicted as a feathered serpent, adorns temples with intricate carvings and murals. These depictions reflect his divine importance and are integral to the sacred spaces of worship. His role in the Aztec calendar underscores his significance in timekeeping and agricultural cycles. The planet Venus, associated with Quetzalcoatl, played a crucial role in the Aztec calendar. This connection highlights his influence over both celestial events and earthly activities. Quetzalcoatl's influence extended beyond the Aztec Empire, impacting other Mesoamerican cultures. His worship spread among the Maya and other civilizations, demonstrating his widespread reverence. This cross-cultural significance underscores his role as a unifying deity in the region. After the Spanish conquest, Quetzalcoatl's legacy was adapted into post-conquest Mexican culture. Indigenous beliefs merged with Christian elements, creating syncretic traditions. This blending of faiths preserved Quetzalcoatl's memory while adapting to new religious contexts imposed by the conquerors. In modern times, Quetzalcoatl has inspired various interpretations and representations. Artists, writers, and filmmakers draw upon his mythos, creating contemporary works that explore his legacy. These modern depictions ensure Quetzalcoatl remains a vibrant part of cultural and artistic expression in Mexico. Modern interpretations of Quetzalcoatl have diversified, reflecting contemporary cultural and artistic sensibilities. This god has become a symbol of indigenous pride and resistance, often represented in murals, literature, and films that seek to reclaim and celebrate Mesoamerican heritage. The presence of Quetzalcoatl in contemporary Mexican folklore continues to evolve. Stories about him are told and retold, blending traditional elements with modern themes, thereby ensuring that this ancient deity remains a vibrant part of Mexico's cultural tapestry. Scholarly research on Quetzalcoatl faces challenges, including deciphering ancient texts and interpreting archaeological findings. However, Ongoing studies contribute significantly to our understanding of his complex role in Aztec religion, society, and mythology. Quetzalcoatl's image is deeply embedded in Mexican national identity. He serves as a symbol of cultural revival and unity, often invoked in political discourse and community movements striving for social justice and historical recognition. Zayda Cutley Zayda Cutley is a central figure in Aztec mythology, revered as the god of fire and time. He was believed to reside in the hearth and was invoked for warmth, light, and protection. His influence permeated various aspects of Aztec life. The name Zayda Cutley comes from Nahuatl, the language of the Aztecs. It combines Zayuhidl, meaning turquoise or year, and Tecutli, meaning lord. This etymology reflects his dual nature as both a fire god and a timekeeper. As the god of fire, Zayda Cutley was seen as the source of life and energy. He was worshipped in both domestic hearths and grand temples. His fire was considered sacred, 
symbolizing creation, destruction, and transformation within the Aztec cosmos. Zayatacutli's association with time and the calendar was profound. He was linked to the solar year and the cycles of the seasons. His role ensured the continuity of time, making him critical in both agricultural and ceremonial contexts. In Aztec culture, Zayatacutli symbolized renewal and persistence. His fire represented the eternal flame of existence and the cyclical nature of life. This symbolism was evident in rituals and art, where he was depicted with flames and turquoise adornments. Zayatacutli, a central figure in Aztec creation myths, is often depicted as the primordial fire that ignited the cosmos. His fiery essence symbolizes the birth of the sun and stars, embodying the life-giving force that fuels the universe. In Aztec art, Zayatacutli is frequently illustrated with flames, turquoise jewelry, and a fiery headdress, emphasizing his role as the god of fire. These depictions often showcase his divine power and unwavering presence in the Aztec cosmos. Zayatacutli's connection to volcanic activity highlights his formidable nature. Volcanic eruptions, viewed as manifestations of his power, were both feared and revered. These natural phenomena reinforced his status as a deity capable of both creation and destruction. Temples dedicated to Zayatacutli were significant centers of worship. These sanctuaries often featured eternal flames, symbolizing the gods' enduring presence. Pilgrims visited these temples to seek blessings, offer sacrifices, and connect with the divine fire. In Aztec rituals, Zayatacutli held a place of immense importance. Ceremonies often included fire-related rites to honor him. Through these rituals, the Aztecs sought to invoke his protection, ensuring the stability and continuity of their world. Zayatacutli, the Aztec god of fire, embodies the concept of renewal, representing both the destructive and regenerative powers of fire. His influence extends to the cycles of life, death, and rebirth, emphasizing transformation and the perpetual renewal of the cosmos. In Aztec creation myths, Zayatacutli plays a crucial role, often associated with the dawn of a new era. He is believed to be instrumental in the birth of the sun and the rekindling of cosmic order, maintaining the balance of the universe. Depictions of Zayatacutli in Aztec art showcase his fiery essence through vibrant imagery. Often adorned with turquoise and fire symbols, he is portrayed as a powerful, dynamic deity, embodying both the destructive and nurturing aspects of fire. Zayda Cutley's connection to volcanic activity underscores his role as a formidable natural force. Volcanic eruptions, with their fiery displays and subsequent fertile soil, symbolize the god's dual ability to destroy and create, reinforcing his significance in the Aztec worldview. Temples dedicated to Zayatacutli were central to Aztec religious life, serving as sites for rituals and offerings. These sacred spaces highlighted his importance in maintaining cosmic harmony and provided a venue for the community to engage in collective acts of worship and renewal. Aztec rituals for Zayatacutli often included offerings of precious materials like turquoise and quetzal feathers, symbolizing his divine essence. Sacrifices, particularly of firewood and incense, were made to honor his dominion over fire and ensure cosmic balance. In Aztec cosmology, Zayatacutli played a crucial role in maintaining the universe's order. His influence extended to various aspects of daily life, from domestic hearths to grand temples, symbolizing warmth, sustenance, and the vital force of life itself. Zayatacutli held a prominent place in Aztec festivals, particularly during the annual ceremonies marking the end of the 52-year calendar cycle. These events celebrated renewal and continuity, with elaborate rituals invoking his power to ensure the sun's rebirth and cosmic harmony. Zayatacutli was revered as a patron of kings and warriors, embodying strength, valor, and leadership. 
His divine favor was sought by rulers seeking legitimacy and success in battle, reinforcing his status as a protector and guide in both governance and warfare. In Aztec codices, Zayatacutli's iconography is rich and symbolic, often depicted with a turquoise serpent and a headdress of flames. These visual elements highlight his multifaceted nature, blending fire's destructive and regenerative qualities, and his central role in the Aztec pantheon. Zayatacutli is often depicted in Aztec codices adorned with vibrant turquoise, symbolizing fire and time. His iconography includes a Zayacol, or fire serpent, which represents his control over flames. These depictions highlight his importance in Aztec cosmology and daily life. In Aztec mythology, Zayatacutli is closely associated with sacred animals such as the fire serpent and the eagle. These symbols emphasize his power and divine connection to fire and the sun. Through these representations, his dual nature is vividly portrayed. Aztec literature and poetry celebrate Zayatacutli's role as the god of fire and time. His presence in these works underscores his significance in their worldview. The reverence for Zayatacutli in poetry highlights his essential place in Aztec spirituality. Comparing Zayatacutli with other fire deities, such as the Hindu god Agni, reveals fascinating similarities and differences. Both represent transformative power, yet their cultural contexts shape distinct myths and rituals. This comparison enriches our understanding of fire deities' universal significance. Zayatacutli embodies the concept of divine warmth, believed to sustain life and renew the cosmos. This warmth is not just physical but spiritual, providing guidance and protection. His divine warmth is a cornerstone of Aztec religious beliefs and practices. Zayatacutli's divine warmth represented both life-giving heat and destructive fire, embodying creation and destruction. This duality made him essential in maintaining cosmic balance, symbolizing the interconnectedness of natural forces and human existence within Aztec culture and spirituality. Priests held a crucial role in worshiping Zayatacutli, performing rituals to honor him, seeking his favor and protection. Their ceremonies, filled with reverence and symbolism, ensured the God's presence in everyday life, reflecting the importance of fire in sustaining society. Belief in cyclical time was central to Zaydakutli's worship, illustrating the Aztec view of history's repetitive nature. This cyclical perception reinforced the god's role in renewal and regeneration, linking him to the eternal recurrence of life and cosmic order. Modern Mexican culture retains echoes of Zaydakutli's legacy, seen in traditional festivals and rituals celebrating fire. His enduring influence highlights the deep roots of ancient beliefs, showcasing the lasting impact of Aztec mythology on contemporary cultural identity and practices. Tlaltecutli Tlaltecutli, a central figure in Aztec mythology, embodies the Earth itself. Known as the Earth Lord or Earth Lady, this deity is pivotal in Aztec cosmology, representing both creation and destruction. Tlaltecutli is a symbol of the Earth's fertility and the cyclical nature of life. The name Tlaltecutli is derived from the Nahuatl words Tlali, meaning Earth, and Tecutli, meaning Lord or Lady. This etymology highlights the deity's dominion over the land. Tlaltecutli's origins trace back to ancient Mesoamerican beliefs, evolving into a key figure within the Aztec pantheon. As an Earth deity, Tlaltecutli's role extends beyond mere symbolism. The Aztecs saw this being as the foundation of their world, a provider of sustenance and a force of nature. Tlaltecutli's presence was integral to agricultural cycles and the sustenance of life. Tlaltecutli's significance in Aztec cosmology cannot be overstated. She is often depicted as the monstrous entity from whose body the world was created. This creation myth underscores the belief that life and fertility emerge from sacrifice and dismemberment, central themes in Aztec thought. 
In Aztec art and sculpture, Tlaltecutli is portrayed with fearsome features, often with a gaping mouth ready to devour. This imagery serves as a reminder of the Earth's dual nature, nurturing yet consuming. Magnificent carvings and murals capture the deity's terrifying yet vital presence in Aztec culture. Tlaltecutli held profound symbolic significance in Aztec culture. As the embodiment of the Earth, she represented both life and death, fertility and destruction. This dual nature embodied the Aztecs' understanding of the cyclical nature of existence, where creation and decay were inextricably linked. In creation myths, Tlaltecutli's body was used to form the earth after being dismembered by the gods. This act of dismemberment symbolized the sacrifice necessary for creation, reflecting the Aztec belief in the necessity of offering blood and life to sustain the universe and ensure its fertility. The story of Tlaltecutli's dismemberment is central to Aztec mythology. The gods Tezcatlipoca and Quetzalcoatl tore her apart to create the land, rivers, and mountains. This myth highlights the theme of sacrifice, where divine destruction is needed to give birth to the physical world and sustain life. Tlaltecutli's connection to the Earth's fertility was paramount. As an Earth deity, she was believed to nourish crops and sustain life. Farmers prayed to her for bountiful harvests, recognizing her as a vital force in agriculture and a provider of sustenance, essential for the survival of the Aztec civilization. In Aztec mythology, Tlaltecutli maintained complex relationships with other gods, embodying the interconnectedness of their pantheon. She often interacted with deities like Quetzalcoatl and Tezcatlipoca, forming alliances and rivalries that underscored the dynamic interplay of forces within the Aztec cosmological framework. The Codex Borgia, an essential Aztec religious manuscript, vividly portrays Tlaltecutli with intricate details and vibrant colors, showcasing her fearsome and powerful nature. This ancient book highlights her importance in Aztec rituals and cosmology, making her a central figure in the understanding of the Aztec worldview. Rituals and ceremonies dedicated to Tlaltecutli were integral to Aztec society, aiming to appease and honor the Earth Deity. These sacred rites often involved offerings and sacrifices, reflecting the deep reverence the Aztecs held for Tlaltecutli's power over the land and their dependence on her for agricultural success. Offerings to Tlaltecutli were diverse and symbolic, ranging from precious goods to human sacrifices. These offerings were believed to nourish and please her, ensuring fertility and abundance. The Aztecs' devotion underscores the deity's crucial role in sustaining life and maintaining the balance between creation and destruction. Tlaltecutli's influence on Aztec agriculture was profound, as she was seen as the source of all plant life and fertility. Farmers conducted ceremonies to gain her favor, hoping for bountiful harvests. This connection highlights the deity's significance in everyday life and the practical aspects of Aztec spirituality. Tlaltecutli embodies the dual nature of creation and destruction, symbolizing the cycle of life death, and rebirth. As a creator, she is a source of life and fertility. As a destroyer, she represents the inevitable return to the earth. This duality reflects the Aztecs' understanding of the natural world. Tlaltecutli plays a critical role in the Aztec calendar, symbolizing the cyclical nature of life and death. As an earth deity, she embodies the recurring patterns of creation and destruction influencing agricultural cycles and seasonal changes. Her presence reinforces the Aztecs' deep connection to the rhythms of the natural world. In Aztec temples and pyramids, Tlaltecutli occupies a prominent place, often depicted in carvings and murals. These sacred spaces serve as a testament to her importance in religious practices. Her imagery, intertwined with architectural grandeur, honors her role in maintaining cosmic order and the Earth's fertility. 
Modern interpretations of Tlaltecutli reflect her enduring significance in Mexican culture. Contemporary artists and scholars explore her dual nature as both creator and destroyer, highlighting her complex role in Aztec mythology. This ongoing interest emphasizes her lasting impact on cultural identity and historical understanding. Tlaltecutli remains a pivotal figure in Aztec mythology, embodying the Earth's life-giving and destructive forces. Her stories and symbols permeate various aspects of Aztec beliefs, reinforcing themes of renewal and transformation. Her enduring presence in mythological narratives underscores her essential role in shaping the Aztec worldview. Tlaltecutli's connection to the underworld further accentuates her role in the cycle of life and death. She bridges the realms of the living and the dead, guiding souls and influencing the afterlife. This association highlights her comprehensive influence over both earthly and spiritual domains, underscoring her profound significance. Tlaltecutli, like many Earth deities across various cultures, embodies the dual role of creation and destruction. Unlike Gaia from Greek mythology, who was primarily nurturing, Tlaltecutli's fearsome visage reflects her destructive side. This duality makes her similar to deities like Kali in Hinduism, who also embody creation and destruction. In Aztec religious texts, Tlaltecutli is often depicted as a monstrous figure, signifying the Earth's voracious appetite for sustenance. These texts emphasize her insatiable hunger for human hearts and blood, which were essential to appease her. This highlights the Aztec belief in the Earth's need for nourishment through sacrifice. Tlaltecutli's role in Aztec creation stories is pivotal. According to myth, the gods Quetzalcoatl and Tezcatlipoca transformed her dismembered body into the Earth. Her head and limbs became mountains, rivers, and valleys, signifying the creation of the physical world from her form. This myth underscores her integral role in shaping the earth. In the Aztec codices, Tlaltecutli is frequently portrayed with her mouth agape, ready to consume. These visual representations, rich in symbolic detail, emphasize her role as both a giver and taker of life. The codices serve as crucial documents, preserving the intricate myths and religious beliefs surrounding this formidable deity. The legend of Quetzalcoatl and Tlaltecutli is a cornerstone of Aztec mythology. Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent god, and Tezcatlipoca needed to subdue Tlaltecutli to create the world. Their struggle and her subsequent transformation into the earth highlight the cosmic battles and divine efforts involved in the creation myth, illustrating the god's power and sacrifice. Tlaltecutli significantly influenced Aztec societal structure by embodying the dual nature of creation and destruction. As the Earth deity, Tlaltecutli's myths underscored the importance of balance and cycles, shaping the Aztec worldview. This balance was reflected in daily life, agriculture, and governance, emphasizing the interconnectedness of all things. Myths surrounding Tlaltecutli's origins highlight the deity's complex nature. Often depicted as a monstrous being, Tlaltecutli was torn apart to create the earth, symbolizing sacrifice and rebirth. These stories reinforce the Aztec belief in the necessity of sacrifice for renewal and prosperity, deeply influencing their cultural practices. Tlaltecutli's depiction in Aztec murals showcases the deity's fearsome and awe-inspiring presence. Often illustrated with gaping jaws and clawed limbs, these murals served as visual reminders of the Earth's power and the god's influence. The imagery reinforced the importance of reverence and respect for natural forces in Aztec society. Tlaltecutli played a crucial role in Aztec funerary practices, embodying the Earth that received the dead. Burial rituals often included offerings to Tlaltecutli to ensure the deceased's safe passage and rebirth. This connection between death and the earth underscored the cyclical nature of life and the importance of honoring deities. 
Tlaltecut lies ties to the natural world extended to mountains and volcanoes, considered sacred manifestations of the deity's body. These geological features were central to Aztec religious practices, symbolizing strength and fertility. The reverence for mountains and volcanoes reflected the Aztecs' deep spiritual connection to their environment. Tlaltecutli's legacy in contemporary Mexican culture is visible in art and literature, where the Earth deity symbolizes the nation's deep-rooted connection to its pre-Hispanic past. Festivals and educational programs often revive Tlaltecutli's myths, highlighting the importance of preserving indigenous traditions and fostering a sense of cultural pride. Tlaltecutli's influence on Aztec architecture is evident in the grand pyramids and temples that the landscape. These structures were designed to honor the earth deity, with intricate carvings and detailed motifs reflecting Tlaltecutli's power and significance, showcasing the Aztecs' advanced engineering and deep spiritual devotion. In Aztec poetry, Tlaltecutli is often depicted as both a nurturing and fearsome force. Poets used vivid imagery to describe the deity's dual nature, capturing the essence of creation and destruction. These literary works served as a means to convey the complexities of life and the universe. Tlaltecutli's significance in Aztec mythology cycles underscores the deity's pivotal role in creation and sustenance. Myths revolving around Tlaltecutli often illustrate the cyclical nature of life, death, and rebirth, emphasizing the interconnectedness of all beings and the importance of maintaining balance in the cosmos. The iconography of Tlaltecutli in Aztec artifacts, such as pottery and ceremonial objects, reflects the deity's revered status. These items, adorned with intricate designs, were used in various rituals and ceremonies. They stand as a testament to Tlaltecutli's enduring influence on the spiritual and everyday lives of the Aztec people. Tlaltecutli's role in Aztec prophecy is deeply embedded in the culture's understanding of the cycles of creation and destruction. As a central figure, she symbolizes the perpetual renewal of the earth. Her influence is evident in the Aztecs' beliefs about the end times and the rebirth of the world. The story of Tlaltecutli and the four Tezcatlipocas illustrates her integral part in the cosmic balance. Each deity, representing different aspects of existence, interacts with Tlaltecutli to maintain harmony. This narrative highlights her critical function in sustaining life and the universe's structure. Tlaltecutli's impact on Aztec daily life was profound as she was invoked in rituals and agricultural practices. Her presence was felt in the fertile land that provided sustenance. The Aztecs' reverence for her underscores their dependence on the Earth's bounty and their respect for natural cycles. Mountains and volcanoes were seen as manifestations of Tlaltecutli's power. These natural formations were considered sacred and were often sites of worship. The connection underscores her significance in the physical landscape, representing both creation's nurturing aspects and the potential for destruction. Mixcoatl Mixcoatl, a prominent figure in Aztec mythology, is revered as a god with multifaceted roles. His influence spans from celestial realms to terrestrial domains, embodying the interconnectedness of the universe. Stories of Mixcoatl reveal profound insights into Aztec beliefs and cosmology. The name Mixcoatl derives from the Nahuatl language, meaning cloud serpent. This etymology reflects his dual association with the heavens and the earth. The imagery of a serpent weaving through clouds evokes his powerful presence in both realms. As an integral deity in Aztec religion, Mixcoatl was worshipped for his guidance and protection. He was believed to aid in navigation, hunting, and warfare. Devotees sought his favor to ensure success and safety in these vital endeavors. Mixcoatl is also celebrated as the god of the hunt, embodying the skills and strategies necessary for survival. His guidance was crucial for hunters, who invoked his spirit to track and capture game.
This role underscores his importance in sustaining Aztec communities. Mixcoatl's association with the Milky Way highlights his celestial significance. The Milky Way, often visualized as a serpent-like figure in the night sky, was seen as a manifestation of Mixcoatl. This connection emphasizes his role in linking earthly and heavenly realms. Mixcoatl, in Aztec mythology, is intimately connected with the stars and celestial bodies. He is often represented as a deity who has dominion over the heavens, guiding the stars in their nightly journey across the sky. His influence extends to the cosmic order. Depictions of Mixcoatl in Aztec art are rich and varied. He is often shown adorned with a distinctive headdress and carrying hunting implements. These visual representations highlight his multifaceted nature, bridging both the terrestrial and celestial realms in Aztec belief. Symbols associated with Mixcoatl include the deer and the snake, both creatures linked to the hunt and the natural world. These attributes underscore his role as a god of the hunt, emphasizing his connection to both life and sustenance. Mixcoatl holds significant importance in the agricultural cycles of the Aztec people. His influence ensures the fertility of the land and the success of crops. This connection to agriculture highlights the integral role he plays in the sustenance of Aztec society. Myths and legends surrounding Mixcoatl are abundant, showcasing his adventures and divine interventions. Stories often depict him as a heroic figure, conquering adversaries and overcoming trials. These narratives serve to reinforce his status and venerate his contributions to Aztec mythology. Mixcoatl's relationship with other Aztec gods showcases his multifaceted nature, intertwining with deities like Huitzilopochtli and Quetzalcoatl. This interconnectedness highlights his significant role in the pantheon, reflecting the intricate web of Aztec religious beliefs and cosmic harmony. As a key figure in Aztec creation myths, Mixcoatl is often credited with begetting other important gods. His actions and lineage underscore his crucial part in the mythological narratives, emphasizing his influence in bringing forth divine entities essential to the Aztec cosmos. Mixcoatl's significance in Aztec cosmology is profound, representing the celestial hunt and the Milky Way. His presence in the night sky serves as a reminder of the divine order, linking earthly activities to the broader universe and celestial patterns. The duality of Mixcoatl's nature embodies life and death, illustrating the Aztec understanding of balance. He symbolizes the cyclical nature of existence, where creation and destruction are intertwined, reflecting the perpetual cycle of life, death, and rebirth in their worldview. Mixcoatl's role in Aztec warrior culture is paramount, inspiring bravery and skill in battle. As a god of the hunt and war, he embodies the qualities of a fierce warrior, guiding and protecting Aztec soldiers in their quests for victory. Rituals and ceremonies dedicated to Mixcoatl often involved offerings of food, incense, and blood. These rituals were performed by priests and community members to invoke Mixcoatl's favor, particularly before hunting expeditions or during significant agricultural events, ensuring bountiful harvests and successful hunts. Temples and sacred sites associated with Mixcoatl were scattered throughout the Aztec Empire. These sites served as focal points for worship and pilgrimage, where elaborate ceremonies were held to honor the god. Such places were imbued with spiritual significance and reverence. Mixcoatl's influence on Aztec kingship and leadership extended beyond religious contexts. Kings and leaders sought his guidance and blessing, believing his favor would grant them strength and wisdom. This connection underscored the god's integral role in shaping Aztec governance and authority. Mixcoatl's portrayal in ancient Aztec codices reveals intricate details of his mythology and worship. These manuscripts depict him with distinctive symbols and attributes, shedding light on his significance. 
They serve as crucial sources for understanding Aztec religious practices and cosmology. The legacy of Mixcoatl in modern Mexican culture persists through various cultural and historical references. Festivals, folklore, and artistic representations continue to honor his memory. This enduring legacy reflects the deep-rooted impact of Mixcoatl on the cultural identity of Mexico. Mixcoatl played a pivotal role in the Aztec calendar, embodying the cyclical nature of time and seasons. His influence was marked by festivals that honored his connection to the hunt, celestial bodies, and agricultural cycles, ensuring prosperity and balance. The concept of Teodol, a divine force, was intrinsically linked to Mixcoatl. As a manifestation of this divine essence, he represented the interconnectedness of the spiritual and physical realms, embodying the Aztec's belief in the unity of the cosmos and earthly existence. Mixcoatl was often compared to other Mesoamerican deities, highlighting his unique attributes and roles. This comparative analysis revealed shared mythological themes and distinct characteristics, illuminating the rich tapestry of Mesoamerican religious beliefs and cultural exchanges across different civilizations. In Aztec daily life, Mixcoatl's influence was profound. Hunters sought his favor for successful expeditions, while farmers invoked his blessings for bountiful harvests. His presence permeated various aspects of life, from rituals to practical activities, underscoring his significance in their society. Aztec poetry and literature celebrated Mixcoatl's heroic deeds and divine attributes. These artistic expressions captured his essence, weaving tales of his adventures and celestial connections. Through these narratives, the Aztecs preserved and transmitted their cultural heritage, ensuring Mixcoatl's enduring legacy. Mixcoatl's influence on Aztec warfare and strategy was profound, as he symbolized the cunning and skill needed for successful hunts and battles. Warriors invoked his guidance, believing his divine prowess would lead them to victory and ensure their survival in conflicts. In Aztec rites of passage, Mixcoatl played a crucial role. Young warriors undergoing initiation sought his favor for strength and protection. Ceremonies often included offerings and prayers to Mixcoatl, reinforcing his importance in their transition from youth to seasoned fighters. Scholarly interpretations of Mixcoatl's mythology highlight his multifaceted nature, examining his dual roles as a god of the hunt and a celestial figure. Researchers explore his significance in various aspects of Aztec culture, revealing the complexity and depth of his mythology. Mictlantecutli Mictlantecutli is a central figure in Aztec mythology, revered as the god of death. He presides over Mictlan, the underworld, where the dead reside. As a deity, he embodies the inevitable cycle of life and death, commanding respect and fear among those who worshipped him in ancient times. The name Mictlantecutli is derived from the Nahuatl language. It translates to Lord of Mictlan, signaling his dominion over the underworld. The etymology reflects his authority and role within Aztec cosmology, emphasizing his position as a powerful and feared deity in their pantheon. As the god of death, Mictlantecutli's role is to oversee the souls of the deceased. He ensures that they find their place in Mictlan, guiding them through their journey in the afterlife. His presence is a reminder of mortality and the natural balance between life and death. Mictlan, the underworld ruled by Mictlantecutli, is a realm where souls embark on a challenging journey. It is depicted as a dark and foreboding place, consisting of nine levels that souls must traverse. Each level presents obstacles, symbolizing the trials that the deceased must endure. In Aztec belief, Mictlan holds significant importance. It is not just a final resting place, but a crucial part of the afterlife journey. The concept of Mictlan underscores the Aztec understanding of death as a continuation of existence, where souls undergo transformation and purification before reaching eternal rest. 
Mictlantecutli's wife, Mictecasichuatl, is the revered lady of the dead in Aztec mythology. Together, they rule Mictlan, the underworld. Mictecasichuatl oversees the care of the dead, ensuring their safe passage. She compliments Mictlantecutli by embodying the nurturing aspect of death, offering solace to souls. Depictions of Mictlantecutli in Aztec art are both striking and macabre. He is often shown as a skeletal figure adorned with bones and skulls. Artists frequently portrayed him with a gaping jaw, symbolizing his insatiable nature. These representations reflect the Aztecs' profound reverence and fear of death. Mictlantecutli's skeletal appearance is rich in symbolism. His exposed bones represent the inevitable fate awaiting all living beings. The skeletal form also symbolizes the cycle of life and death, emphasizing regeneration and continuity. This imagery serves as a powerful reminder of mortality and the transient nature of existence. Common iconography associated with Mictlantecutli includes skulls, bones, and owls. Owls, as nocturnal creatures, are seen as messengers of the underworld. Additionally, Mictlantecutli is often depicted wearing a headdress adorned with owl feathers, further emphasizing his connection to the realm of the dead and the night. Mictlantecutli's influence on Aztec rituals and ceremonies was profound. Many rites involved offerings to appease him, ensuring the safe passage of souls. Human sacrifices were sometimes conducted to honor him, reflecting the deep-seated belief in his power. These practices highlight the importance of death in Aztec spiritual life. The Aztecs embraced a profound duality in their religion, seeing life and death as interconnected. Mictlantecutli, the god of death, embodied this balance. His presence emphasized that death was a natural continuation of life, and both were essential elements of the cosmic order and human experience. Mictlantecutli played a crucial role in the Aztec afterlife journey. Souls of the deceased embarked on an arduous four-year journey through Mictlan, the underworld. They faced numerous challenges before reaching eternal rest. Mictlantecutli, as the ruler of Mictlan, oversaw this process, ensuring the soul's proper passage. Mictlan, the underworld, consisted of nine levels, each with its unique significance and challenges. The journey through these levels tested the soul's endurance and resolve. Successfully navigating them was believed to grant the soul's eternal peace. Mictlantecutli's domain thus symbolized the transformative nature of death in Aztec belief. Rituals and offerings to Mictlantecutli were integral to Aztec religious practices. Offerings included food, incense, and sometimes even human sacrifices. These acts aim to appease the god of death, ensuring his favor and protection for the deceased souls. They highlighted the deep reverence Aztecs held for Mictlantecutli. Dogs held special significance in guiding souls to Mictlan. Aztecs believed that a faithful dog would accompany the deceased, helping them cross the dangerous rivers on their journey. This belief underscored the importance of companionship and guidance in the afterlife, reflecting the interconnectedness of life, death, and loyalty. Mictlantecutli occupies a central role in Aztec cosmology, representing the inevitable cycle of life and death. As the ruler of Mictlan, he embodies the ultimate destination for most souls. His presence underscores the Aztec belief in the interconnectedness of the earthly and the spiritual realms, emphasizing the importance of death in the cosmic order. The festival of Mictlantecutli, dedicated to Mictlantecutli, was a significant event in the Aztec calendar. It involved elaborate ceremonies, including offerings and dances, to honor the god of death. This festival highlighted the Aztecs' deep reverence for their ancestors and the belief in maintaining harmony with the afterlife. Mictlantecutli's relationships with other gods illustrate his integral role in the Aztec pantheon. He often interacted with deities governing life, fertility, and the sun, 
emphasizing the balance between life and death. These interactions depicted a complex, interwoven tapestry of divine influences shaping the human experience in the natural world. In the Codex Borgia, Miklantikutli is vividly portrayed, providing rich visual insights into Aztec beliefs. The Codex's intricate illustrations depict him with skeletal features, adorned with symbols of death and the underworld. These depictions offer valuable context for understanding his worship and the rituals performed in his honor. Bones hold profound symbolism in Miklantikutli's mythology, representing the essence of life and death's transformative power. They were often used in rituals to invoke his presence and connect with the ancestors. This symbolism highlights the Aztec view of death not as an end but as a vital part of the eternal cycle. Miklantikutli is vividly depicted in the Codex Borgia, an essential pre-Columbian manuscript that illustrates various deities and religious rites. He is often shown with skeletal features, symbolizing death and the underworld. These images provide invaluable insights into Aztec beliefs and the significance of Miklantikutli in their cosmology. Bones play a crucial role in Miklantikutli's mythology, symbolizing mortality and the cycle of life and death. As the keeper of bones, he underscores the Aztec understanding of death as a natural and vital part of existence. This symbolism is reflected in various rituals and artistic representations. Modern interpretations of Aztec mythology often re-examine Miklantikutli's place within the broader cultural and spiritual context. Scholars explore his duality as both a fearsome and necessary figure, emphasizing how Miklantikutli embodies the Aztec acceptance of death as a continuation of life, not an end. The Day of the Dead traditions in contemporary Mexican culture show a clear connection to Miklantikutli. Celebrations honoring the deceased echo ancient Aztec rituals dedicated to the god of death, highlighting continuity in cultural practices and beliefs about the afterlife, despite the passage of centuries. Spanish colonization drastically impacted the worship of Miklantikutli, as Christian missionaries sought to suppress indigenous religions. The god of death, once central to Aztec spirituality, was demonized or syncretized with Catholic saints. Despite this, echoes of his influence persist in modern cultural and religious practices. Miklantikutli's presence in Aztec literature and oral traditions reflects the deep cultural significance of death in their worldview. Stories and hymns often depicted his dominion over the afterlife, emphasizing the inevitability of death and the journey to Miklan, reinforcing the Aztecs' understanding of mortality. Human sacrifices dedicated to Miklantikutli were a vital aspect of Aztec rituals. These ceremonies were believed to appease the god of death and ensure the balance between life and death. Victims, often war captives, were offered to honor Miklantikutli, reinforcing his power and the community's connection to the spiritual realm. Priests played a crucial role in Miklantikutli worship, conducting intricate rituals and guiding the deceased through funerary rites. These religious leaders were responsible for interpreting the will of Miklantikutli, ensuring that the proper ceremonies were performed to secure safe passage for souls to Miklan. Miklantikutli's influence is evident in Aztec temple architecture, with dedicated spaces and altars for worship. Temples often featured skeletal motifs and imagery of the underworld, symbolizing the god's dominion. These structures served as focal points for rituals, reflecting the importance of death in Aztec religious life. In Aztec codices, Miklantikutli is vividly portrayed, often depicted with skeletal features and adorned with death-related symbols. These illustrations provide valuable insights into how the Aztecs conceptualized the underworld and its ruler, preserving crucial aspects of their beliefs and rituals for future generations. Miklantikutli often appears in Aztec codices, ancient manuscripts that capture the myths, rituals, and cosmology of the Aztec world. 
These codices depict him with a skeletal visage, emphasizing his dominion over death. His frightening image serves as a powerful reminder of the inevitable journey to the underworld. Miklantikutli's sacred animals, such as owls and bats, embody his connection to the night and death. Owls, in particular, were considered harbingers of death, often linked to the god's dark realm. These animals reinforce the fearsome and solemn aspects of Miklantikutli's mythology. The myth of Quetzalcoatl and Miklantikutli's confrontation highlights the tension between life and death. Quetzalcoatl, seeking to create humanity, must outweep Miklantikutli to retrieve sacred bones from the underworld. This myth underscores the delicate balance between creation and destruction in Aztec belief systems. Miklantikutli's influence extends to Aztec moral and ethical views, where death is seen as a natural part of life. The god's presence in their mythology taught the Aztecs to respect the cycle of life and to honor the dead through rituals and ceremonies, reinforcing societal values. Modern academic studies on Miklantikutli delve into his complex role in Aztec mythology. Scholars analyze his depictions and stories to understand the cultural and religious significance of death in Aztec society. These studies reveal the depth and richness of Miklantikutli's influence on Aztec life and beliefs. Miklantikutli has found a place in modern popular culture with appearances in books, movies, and video games. These depictions often highlight his fearsome role as the god of death. Although sometimes dramatized, these portrayals help to introduce Aztec mythology to new audiences, keeping ancient stories alive. In Aztec healing practices, Miklantikutli was paradoxically revered. Some rituals aimed to appease him to ward off illness and death. This dual role underscores the complexity of Aztec spirituality, where deities could influence both life and death. Understanding this can provide insight into how the Aztecs viewed health and the afterlife. The Aztecs believed the soul's journey was influenced by Miklantikutli. Souls were thought to traverse Miklan's nine levels, facing challenges before reaching eternal rest. This belief system highlighted the importance of endurance and resilience, reflecting the broader Aztec values of strength and perseverance. Miklantikutli's presence in Aztec poetry reveals a deep cultural reverence for death. Poets often invoked him to explore themes of mortality and the afterlife. These literary works provide a rich tapestry of Aztec thought, blending the divine with human experience and offering a glimpse into their worldview. Zacaquetzal. Zacaquetzal is a revered deity in Aztec mythology, embodying beauty, love, and fertility. As a central figure, she represents the lush vibrancy of nature and the delicate artistry of life. Her divine influence permeates various aspects of Aztec culture, making her an essential goddess in their pantheon. The name Zacaquetzal derives from the Nahuatl words Xochil, meaning flower, and Quetzal, referring to the precious feather of the Quetzal bird. This etymology highlights her profound connection to natural beauty and the elegance of flowers, symbolizing her role as a patroness of earthly and spiritual splendor. In Aztec religion, Zacaquetzal plays a multifaceted role, overseeing love, fertility, and the arts. She is venerated by artisans, lovers, and those seeking to conceive. Her blessings are sought during important life events, reflecting her integral presence in both everyday life and sacred rituals. Depictions of Zacaquetzal in Aztec iconography often feature her adorned with vibrant flowers and elaborate headdresses. She is frequently shown in the company of birds and butterflies, emphasizing her ethereal beauty and connection to nature. These artistic representations capture her essence as a goddess of grace and creativity. Zacaquetzal embodies a duality that reflects the complexities of life and femininity. While she represents the nurturing aspects of love and fertility, she also encompasses the transformative power of nature. 
This dual nature underscores her significance in guiding the delicate balance between creation and destruction, nurturing and change. Zaki Quetzal embodies the essence of beauty in Aztec mythology, representing the ideal of physical and spiritual allure. Her divine radiance was believed to inspire artists and lovers alike, making her a central figure in the appreciation of aesthetics. Her beauty was thought to bring harmony and joy to those who worshipped her. As the goddess of love, Zaki Quetzal played a pivotal role in romantic unions and relationships. She was invoked to bless marriages and ensure the fidelity of partners. Her influence extended to the emotional and physical aspects of love, fostering deep connections and passionate bonds among the people. Zaki Quetzal's role as the goddess of fertility was crucial for the Aztecs, who relied on her blessings for abundant harvests and healthy offspring. She was venerated by those seeking to conceive, and her favor was thought to guarantee the prosperity of both individuals and the broader community, ensuring survival and growth. Flowers were sacred to Zaka Quetzal, symbolizing her connection to life, growth, and beauty. Her association with vibrant blossoms underscored her role in nurturing and sustaining the natural world. Flowers were offered in her honor during rituals, and she was often depicted adorned with floral motifs, highlighting her life-giving power. Zaka Quetzal's connection to female sexuality was profound, celebrating the divine aspect of women's sensuality and reproductive capabilities. She empowered women to embrace their sexuality without shame, recognizing it as a source of strength and creativity. Her influence helped shape the societal views on femininity and the sacredness of life's creation. The myth of Zaki Quetzal's abduction by Tezcatlipoca reveals the complexities of Aztec mythology. Tezcatlipoca, the god of darkness and sorcery, kidnaps Zaka Quetzal from her garden paradise. This act brings her to the underworld, symbolizing the interplay between light and darkness, beauty and chaos in Aztec cosmology. Zaka Quetzal's relationships with other gods highlight her multifaceted nature. She is often associated with Tlaloc, the rain god, symbolizing the nurturing aspect of water and fertility. Her connections with other deities emphasize her role in maintaining balance within the pantheon, linking beauty, love, and life forces. Temples and places of worship dedicated to Zaka Quetzal were adorned with vibrant flowers and intricate carvings. These sacred spaces served as centers for communal gatherings, where worshipers honored the goddess through rituals and offerings. The architecture and decorations reflected her association with beauty, nature, and fertility. Rituals and ceremonies in honor of Zaka Quetzal were elaborate and filled with symbolism. These included floral offerings, dances, and music celebrating her attributes. The rituals aimed to invoke her blessings for love, beauty, and fertility reinforcing her significance in the daily lives and spiritual practices of the Aztec people. Zaka Quetzal's role in Aztec festivals was prominent and joyous. Festivals dedicated to her were marked by vibrant parades, floral decorations, and communal feasts. These celebrations not only honored her divine qualities, but also strengthened social bonds, bringing communities together in shared reverence for beauty, love, and fertility. Offerings to Zaka Quetzal were diverse, often including vibrant flowers, precious stones, and intricately woven textiles. These items symbolized beauty and fertility, aspects associated with the goddess. Ritual ceremonies frequently involved songs, dances, and the burning of copal incense, creating an atmosphere of reverence and celebration in her honor. Zaka Quetzal's influence extended into Aztec art, where she was depicted in various forms, often adorned with flowers and jewelry. These artistic representations not only served religious purposes, but also highlighted the Aztec's appreciation for beauty and craftsmanship, reinforcing her role as a patroness of artisans and weavers. In Aztec literature and poetry, 
Zaka Quetzal was celebrated as the epitome of beauty and love. Poets often invoked her name in their verses, praising her enchanting qualities and the inspiration she provided. Her presence in these works underscores her importance in the cultural and spiritual life of the Aztecs. Symbols associated with Zaka Quetzal included the butterfly, representing transformation and the soul. Butterflies were often depicted with her in artistic renderings, emphasizing their connection to beauty and ephemeral nature. This symbolism reinforced her role as a goddess of love, beauty, and fertility, linking her to the natural world. The sacred bird Quetzal, known for its vibrant plumage, was deeply connected to Zaka Quetzal. The bird's feathers were highly prized and often used in ceremonial attire and offerings. This association with the Quetzal highlighted her status as a deity of beauty and elegance, revered by the Aztec people. Zaka Quetzal is often associated with the butterfly, a symbol of transformation and ephemeral beauty. The butterfly's delicate and vibrant nature mirrors Zaka Quetzal's own attributes as the goddess of beauty and love. This connection highlights her role in the cycles of life, death, and rebirth within Aztec mythology. Marriage rituals in Aztec culture often invoked Zaka Quetzal to bless the union with harmony and fertility. Couples would offer flowers and other tokens to seek her favor. Her presence in these ceremonies underscored the importance of love, beauty, and procreation in sustaining the community's social and familial structures. Zaka Quetzal held significant influence over the Aztec society and culture, shaping ideals of beauty, love, and fertility. Her worship permeated daily life, from artistic expressions to social customs. She embodied both the nurturing and seductive aspects of femininity, reinforcing gender roles and expectations within the Aztec civilization. Comparisons between Zaka Quetzal and other Mesoamerican deities reveal her unique attributes while highlighting common themes in the region's mythology. Similar to goddesses like Nine Shell of the Maya, Zaka Quetzal embodies fertility and creativity. These comparisons enrich our understanding of shared cultural values across Mesoamerican societies. Over time, Zaka Quetzal's image transformed evolving from a revered deity to a multifaceted cultural symbol. Her legacy persisted through changing religious practices and societal shifts, adapting to new contexts while retaining core aspects of her identity. This transformation underscores her enduring influence on Mexican heritage and cultural consciousness. Zaka Quetzal's influence on modern Mexican culture manifests in various ways, from art and literature to festivals and traditions. Her legacy is celebrated through vibrant murals, poetic tributes, and cultural events that honor her as a symbol of beauty and fertility, reflecting the enduring reverence for indigenous deities. The role of priestesses in the cult of Zaka Quetzal was significant as they performed rituals and safeguarded sacred knowledge. These women were highly respected and played a crucial part in maintaining the spiritual and cultural practices associated with Zaka Quetzal, ensuring her worship continued through generations. Zaka Quetzal's representation in historical codices provides invaluable insights into Aztec mythology and religious practices. These ancient manuscripts depict her vibrant iconography, elaborate ceremonies, and intricate myths offering a window into the rich spiritual life of the Aztecs and the revered status of this goddess. The legacy of Zaka Quetzal in contemporary art is evident in the works of Mexican artists who draw inspiration from her mythology. Her image graces paintings, sculptures, and installations, symbolizing a connection to pre-Hispanic heritage and an appreciation for the divine feminine, influencing modern artistic expression. Zaka Quetzal's presence in folklore and oral traditions ensures her stories and attributes remain alive in Mexican culture. These tales, passed down through generations, continue to captivate audiences, preserving the goddess's essence and highlighting her importance in the spiritual and cultural fabric of society. 
Zaki Ketzel's deep connection to the natural world is evident through her association with flowers and lush vegetation. Representing the Earth's fertility and beauty, she embodies the vibrant life force that sustains both the physical and spiritual realms, bridging humanity with the environment and Aztec belief. Her influence on gender roles in Aztec society was profound, as she epitomized the ideal woman, balancing beauty, fertility, and domesticity. Zaki Ketzel's qualities set a societal standard, encouraging women to embrace their roles within the community while celebrating their inherent power and contributions. Zaki Ketzel played a crucial role in childbirth and midwifery symbolizing the life-giving force essential for the continuation of society. Midwives often invoked her blessings for safe deliveries, viewing her as a guardian who protected both mothers and infants during the vulnerable process of birth. Craftspeople and artisans revered Zaka Ketzel as their divine patroness, believing her creative spirit inspired their work. Whether weaving intricate textiles or crafting delicate jewelry, they sought her favor to infuse their creations with beauty and skill, reflecting her divine artistry in their everyday labors. The arrival of Spanish colonizers disrupted the worship of Zaki Quetzal, as indigenous religious practices were suppressed or transformed. Despite this, her essence persisted in various forms, blending with Catholic traditions and continuing to influence Mexican cultural expressions in subtle yet enduring ways. Modern interpretations and revivals of Zaki Quetzal worship often blend traditional practices with contemporary beliefs. Many people today honor her through art, music, and festivals that celebrate her attributes of beauty, love, and fertility. This revival signifies a broader interest in reconnecting with indigenous roots and cultural heritage. Key archaeological findings related to Zaki Quetzal have provided significant insights into Aztec religious practices. Artifacts such as statues, pottery, and codices reveal the importance of this goddess in daily life and ritual. These discoveries help historians and archaeologists better understand the complexities of Aztec spirituality. Zaki Quetzal's presence in popular culture and media continues to grow. She appears in literature, films, and visual arts, symbolizing various aspects of femininity and nature. This modern portrayal often reinterprets her mythological stories, making them accessible and relevant to contemporary audiences. The transformation from deity to cultural symbol underscores Zaki Quetzal's lasting impact. While her worship may have diminished with the Spanish colonization, her essence persists in Mexican folklore and tradition. She embodies enduring values and ideals that transcend time, continuing to inspire and influence. Huitzilopochtli Huitzilopochtli, one of the most revered deities in Aztec mythology, embodies both the sun and war. As a central figure in the Aztec pantheon, he symbolizes the unrelenting power of the sun and the fierce determination of warriors. His influence permeates various aspects of Aztec culture and religion. Huitzilopochtli's origin story is dramatic and compelling. Born to the goddess Cuatlique after she miraculously conceived him, Huitzilopochtli emerged fully armed to defend his mother. His birth was marked by a violent confrontation with his siblings, showcasing his inherent warrior spirit and his destined role as a protector. The name Huitzilopochtli translates to Hummingbird of the South. This name captures the essence of his dual nature, combining the seemingly delicate hummingbird with the directional power of the South. It reflects his swift, relentless energy and his vital role in guiding the Aztec people. As the sun god, Huitzilopochtli is essential for the survival and prosperity of the Aztecs. He is believed to battle darkness each day, ensuring the sun's rise and the continuation of life. This daily struggle underscores his importance and reinforces the Aztecs' dependency on his strength and perseverance. Huitzilopochtli is intrinsically linked to war, embodying the ultimate warrior. 
His mythology often highlights his martial prowess and strategic acumen. The Aztecs revered him as their divine protector in battle, seeking his favor and guidance to secure victories and expand their empire, solidifying his status as a war deity. Huitzilopochtli held immense significance in Aztec culture as the god of the sun and war. His influence permeated every aspect of Aztec life, symbolizing the triumph of light over darkness. As a central deity, he was deeply revered, and his stories and attributes were interwoven with the Aztec identity. Huitzilopochtli's attire was rich in symbolism, reflecting his divine attributes and warrior nature. He was often depicted wearing a hummingbird helmet and adorned with feathers and jewelry. These elements not only highlighted his connection to the heavens, but also signified his role as a fierce protector and leader. The weaponry associated with Huitzilopochtli underscored his martial prowess. He wielded the Zayacotl, a fire serpent weapon, symbolizing his power to vanquish enemies. This iconic weapon, often depicted in art, reinforced his status as a formidable and divine warrior, inspiring the Aztec people to valor and strength. In Aztec creation myths, Huitzilopochtli played a crucial role. He was believed to have been born fully armed, instantly defeating his siblings who threatened his mother, Quatlique. This myth highlighted his emergence as a protector and warrior, embodying the essence of struggle and victory from the moment of his birth. The festival of Panquetzalizli was held in honor of Huitzilopochtli, celebrated with elaborate rituals, dances, and sacrifices. This festival, occurring in the 15th month of the Aztec calendar, was a time of great communal significance. It reinforced the deity's vital role in society and ensured the continuation of cosmic order through devotion and offerings. The sacred site of Templo Mayor stands as a monumental tribute to Huitzilopochtli, reflecting the god's paramount importance in Aztec religion. This grand temple was the epicenter of spiritual life in Tenochtitlan, serving both as a place of worship and as a symbol of the empire's power and devotion. Huitzilopochtli's relationship with other Aztec gods is complex and multifaceted, often involving alliances and rivalries. He is frequently depicted in mythology as a dominant force, asserting his supremacy over other deities. Yet, his interactions with gods like Quetzalcoatl and Tlaloc highlight the interconnected nature of the Aztec pantheon. The myth of Huitzilopochtli and Coilzaqui is a dramatic tale of conflict and triumph. Huitzilopochtli emerged victorious from his mother Quatlique's womb, fully armed, to defeat his sister Coilzaqui and her siblings. This myth underscores his role as a warrior god and cements his place in Aztec cosmology. Huitzilopochtli's significance is deeply embedded in the Aztec calendar, particularly through the Tanalpwali and Zaypawali systems. His influence is seen in the cyclical nature of time, where his daily battle against darkness symbolizes the perpetual struggle for balance and the renewal of life. Human sacrifices made to Huitzilopochtli were essential to appease him and ensure the sun's continued journey across the sky. These rituals, often involving captured warriors, were performed with great ceremony. They underscored the Aztecs' belief in the necessity of blood offerings to sustain cosmic order and divine favor. Artistic depictions of Huitzilopochtli often present him as a fierce warrior adorned in vibrant colors, symbolizing his power and divinity. His images can be found in ancient murals, statues, and codices, showcasing his dynamic presence in Aztec art. These depictions emphasize his importance and reverence in Aztec society. Huitzilopochtli's influence on Aztec military strategies was profound. His association with warfare and the sun inspired the Aztecs to adopt aggressive and expansionist tactics. Warriors carried his symbols into battle, believing his divine favor ensured victory. This belief fortified their resolve and shaped their approach to conquest and defense. 
In Aztec codices, Huitzilopochtli is often illustrated with vivid detail, emphasizing his significance. These manuscripts, decorated with intricate symbols and images, recount his myths and deeds, serving as a crucial source of historical and religious knowledge. The codices preserve the rich cultural heritage and complex cosmology of the Aztec civilization. Huitzilopochtli played a pivotal role in guiding Aztec migrations. According to legend, he directed the Mexica people to the location of Tenochtitlan, their eventual capital. This divine guidance was seen as a testament to his favor and protection, reinforcing his status as a central deity in their cosmology and daily life. The hummingbird holds special significance in Huitzilopochtli's imagery, symbolizing vitality, agility, and the soul's journey. Often depicted with hummingbird feathers, he embodies the spirit of the warrior and the relentless energy of the sun. This connection highlights the interwoven nature of myth, symbolism, and the natural world in Aztec belief. Huitzilopochtli holds a profound connection with the Mexica people, symbolizing their journey and identity. As their patron deity, he guided them to their promised land, Tenochtitlan. This relationship underscored their cultural and religious practices, cementing his role as a foundational figure in the Mexica's historical narrative. Huitzilopochtli's influence permeates modern Mexican culture, seen in symbols like the eagle and serpent on the national flag. His legacy continues through festivals and traditions that honor Aztec heritage, reflecting a deep-rooted respect and acknowledgement of ancient beliefs and their impact on contemporary Mexican identity. In Aztec mythology, Huitzilopochtli embodies the daily rebirth of the sun. Each dawn, he triumphs over darkness, symbolizing renewal and the cyclical nature of life. This daily battle underscores the Aztecs' understanding of cosmic order, emphasizing the sun's vital role in sustaining life and balance. Huitzilopochtli also plays a significant role in the Aztec underworld, guiding souls through its treacherous realms. His presence in these myths highlights his dual nature as both a life-giver and a formidable force in death, illustrating the Aztecs' intricate beliefs about the afterlife and spiritual journey. The duality of Huitzilopochtli's nature as both creator and destroyer encapsulates the Aztec worldview. He embodies the perpetual cycle of creation and destruction, reflecting the balance necessary for cosmic harmony. This duality is central to understanding the Aztec perception of the universe and their religious and philosophical beliefs. Priests dedicated to Huitzilopochtli played a crucial role in Aztec religious life. They performed rituals, led ceremonies, and ensured the gods' favor. These priests were often highly trained and held significant influence within society, acting as intermediaries between the people and their powerful deity. Huitzilopochtli was deeply connected with the cardinal directions, each symbolizing different aspects of life and the universe. As the god associated with the South, he represented warmth and vitality. This connection emphasized his role in sustaining life and maintaining cosmic order, highlighting the intricate Aztec understanding of the world. Aztec mythology is rich with stories featuring Huitzilopochtli, often depicting his heroic and divine nature. These narratives conveyed moral lessons, cultural values, and historical events. Through these tales, Huitzilopochtli's character was brought to life, reinforcing his importance in the Aztec pantheon and society. Rituals dedicated to Huitzilopochtli were elaborate and meticulously planned, reflecting his significance. They included offerings, chants, and dances aimed at appeasing the god and securing his protection. These ceremonies were vital in maintaining the balance between the earthly and divine realms, underscoring the centrality of Huitzilopochtli in Aztec spirituality. Huitzilopochtli influenced Aztec art and architecture profoundly. Temples and monuments were constructed in his honor, showcasing intricate designs and symbolism. 
These structures not only served religious purposes, but also demonstrated the Aztecs' architectural ingenuity and devotion to their deity, leaving a lasting legacy in Mesoamerican history. Huitzilopochtli's iconography in Aztec sculptures often features him with distinctive elements such as a hummingbird helmet and a serpent-shaped scepter, symbolizing his divine attributes. These artistic representations highlight his roles as a sun god and a warrior, emphasizing his importance in Aztec religion and cultural identity. Historical accounts by Spanish conquistadors provide a unique perspective on Huitzilopochtli, often depicting him as a fierce and formidable deity. Their writings reveal both awe and misunderstanding, reflecting the cultural clash between the Spaniards and the Aztecs and the complex nature of Huitzilopochtli's worship and influence. Huitzilopochtli's relationship with Aztec kingship was profound. Aztec rulers, seen as his earthly representatives, conducted rituals and sacrifices to honor him reinforcing their divine right to rule. This connection underscored the political and spiritual legitimacy of the Aztec Empire, intertwining governance with religious devotion. Huitzilopochtli played a crucial role in the preservation of the cosmos. According to Aztec beliefs, his daily battle against darkness ensured the sun's rise, symbolizing the eternal struggle between light and dark. This cosmic duty underscored his significance, making him central to the Aztecs' understanding of the universe's balance. In post-conquest narratives, Huitzilopochtli's transformation reflected the changing cultural landscape. While Spanish colonization sought to diminish his influence, indigenous stories and traditions evolved, blending elements of his mythology with new religious paradigms. This adaptation ensured the survival of Huitzilopochtli's legacy, albeit in altered forms, within Mexican cultural memory. The transformation of Huitzilopochtli in post-conquest narratives reveals a shift in perception. Spanish chroniclers reinterpreted his image, often portraying him as a demon. This adaptation served to undermine the Aztec religion and justify colonial rule, yet it also preserved aspects of his myth, ensuring his memory endured. Comparing Huitzilopochtli with gods from other cultures highlights intriguing parallels. Like Mars of Roman mythology, he embodies martial prowess and divine protection. Yet, his unique blend of solar and war attributes sets him apart, illustrating the distinct spiritual needs and values of the Aztec civilization. Huitzilopochtli's impact on Aztec daily life was profound. His presence influenced everything from agricultural cycles to military campaigns. As the sun god, he was central to timekeeping and rituals, embedding himself in the very fabric of Aztec existence, guiding both their practical and spiritual endeavors. In Aztec prophecy, Huitzilopochtli's role was pivotal. Believed to lead the Mexica people to their promised land, his guidance was seen as a divine mandate. His prophecies shaped political decisions and reinforced the belief in their destiny, underlining his importance beyond mere mythology. Cuatlicue Cuatlicue, a central figure in Aztec mythology, is revered as a powerful deity embodying both creation and destruction. Her story intertwines with the mythological origins of the Aztec civilization, making her an integral part of their cultural narrative. As the mother of gods, she holds a significant place in their pantheon. The name Cuatlicue translates to serpent skirt in Nahuatl, reflecting her distinctive attire and symbolic meaning. This etymology highlights her connection to serpents, which are often associated with fertility, renewal, and the cyclical nature of life and death in many Mesoamerican cultures. In Aztec culture, Cuatlicue is venerated for her dual role as the goddess of life and death. She embodies the Earth's nurturing and destructive aspects, symbolizing the perpetual cycle of creation and destruction. Her mythology emphasizes the Aztecs' deep respect for the forces of nature and their impact on human existence. The myth of Cuatlicue's origin is both intriguing and complex. According to legend, 
she was impregnated by a ball of feathers that descended from the heavens. This miraculous conception led to the birth of Huitzilopochtli, the god of the sun and war, illustrating her divine connection to the celestial realm. Kuatlikwe is revered as the earth goddess, embodying the earth's fertile and nurturing qualities. She represents the womb from which all life springs and to which it ultimately returns. Her role as the earth goddess underscores the Aztec's reverence for the natural world and its sustaining forces. Kuatlikwe, often depicted in a fearsome form, embodies the earth's duality of creation and destruction. Her attire is deeply symbolic, emphasizing her role as a mother and warrior. Her fearsome appearance, adorned with serpents and skulls, reinforces her power and the reverence she commanded in Aztec culture. The serpent skirt, one of Quatlique's most notable features, symbolizes fertility and the cyclical nature of life and death. Serpents were considered sacred in Aztec mythology, representing both rebirth and destruction. This attire underscores her connection to the earth and its regenerative processes. Quatlique's necklace, made of human hearts and hands, signifies sacrifice and the sustenance she provides. In Aztec belief, human offerings were essential to appease the gods and ensure the earth's fertility. This gruesome adornment highlights her role in the cycle of life and death. As the mother of gods and mortals, Quatlique holds a central role in Aztec mythology. She gave birth to various deities, including Huitzilopochtli, the god of war. Her motherhood symbolizes the Earth's nurturing aspect, providing life to all beings within the Aztec cosmological framework. The birth of Huitzilopochtli is one of the most significant myths involving Quatlique. It began when she miraculously conceived him while sweeping a temple. This event underscores her divine fertility and the miraculous nature of life's emergence, reinforcing her status as a powerful earth goddess in Aztec lore. Huitzilopochtli holds immense significance in Aztec mythology as the god of the sun and war. Revered as a powerful deity, he symbolizes the eternal struggle between light and darkness. His birth and victories are celebrated as essential aspects of maintaining cosmic order and ensuring the survival of the Aztec people. Quatlique's children, driven by fear and jealousy, conspired to attack her as she carried Huitzilopochtli. They believed her pregnancy threatened their power. This confrontation underscores the dramatic tension and familial conflict prevalent in Aztec myths, reflecting deeper themes of betrayal and loyalty within their pantheon. Huitzilopochtli's birth was nothing short of miraculous. Emerging fully armed from Quatlique's womb, he immediately defended his mother by defeating his siblings. His swift and formidable arrival symbolizes divine intervention and protection, reinforcing his role as a guardian deity and a bringer of justice in Aztec lore. The birth story of Huitzilopochtli is rich in symbolism, reflecting themes of renewal and cosmic balance. His emergence represents the triumph of light over darkness, embodying the eternal cycle of day and night. This myth also emphasizes the importance of divine power in overcoming chaos and ensuring the stability of the universe. Quatlique's role in the creation myth is pivotal, as she embodies the fertile earth from which all life springs. Her union with celestial forces and subsequent offspring highlight the interconnectedness of the natural and divine realms. This narrative underscores her significance as a maternal figure essential for the genesis and sustenance of life. Quatlique embodies the duality of life and death representing both creation and destruction in Aztec mythology. As a life giver, she nurtures the earth and its inhabitants. Simultaneously, her fearsome appearance and association with death illustrate her role as a destroyer, embodying the cyclical nature of existence. As the goddess of fertility and agriculture, Quatlique was crucial to the Aztec's agrarian society. She symbolized the Earth's ability to produce and sustain life. 
Her connection to fertility rituals underscored the importance of agricultural cycles, ensuring bountiful harvests and the community's continued survival. In Aztec art, Cuatlique is often depicted with striking, symbolic features. Her attire includes a skirt of writhing serpents and a necklace adorned with human hearts and hands. These elements emphasize her powerful, multifaceted nature, blending life, death, and rebirth into a cohesive representation of her divine essence. The Cuatlique statue, a monumental sculpture, vividly captures her fearsome beauty. Discovered in 1790, it stands as a testament to her enduring significance in Aztec culture. The statue's intricate details, from the serpent skirt to the skull-adorned belt, offer a tangible connection to the rich tapestry of Aztec mythology. The discovery of the Cuatlique statue in Mexico City was a monumental event. It sparked renewed interest in Aztec culture and mythology. This colossal sculpture, now housed in the National Museum of Anthropology, continues to fascinate scholars and visitors alike, serving as a powerful reminder of the Aztec's artistic and spiritual legacy. Cuatlique embodies the concept of duality in Aztec belief, representing both life and death. As the Earth Goddess, she nurtures and sustains life, while also being associated with destruction and transformation. This duality reflects the Aztec understanding of the cyclical nature of existence, where creation and destruction are interconnected. Cuatlique's complex relationship with other Aztec deities highlights her multifaceted role in their mythology. She is the mother of gods such as Huitzilopochtli and Coilzaqui, symbolizing fertility and the origin of divine power. This interconnectedness emphasizes her central role in the divine hierarchy and cosmic balance. The profound influence of Cuatlique on Aztec rituals and ceremonies is evident in the numerous offerings and sacrifices made in her honor. These rituals aim to appease her and ensure the fertility of the earth, reflecting her significance in maintaining the equilibrium between humans and the divine forces governing the world. Aztec temples dedicated to Cuatlique were sacred spaces where priests conducted elaborate ceremonies to honor her. These temples served as focal points for communal worship and were adorned with symbolic representations of her fearsome and nurturing aspects, emphasizing her importance in the spiritual and daily lives of the Aztec people. In Aztec codices, Cuatlique is depicted with intricate iconography that highlights her dual nature. The codices present her with attributes like the serpent skirt and necklace of human hearts, illustrating her role in life, death, and rebirth. These depictions serve as visual narratives that convey her enduring mythological significance. Cuatlique's connection to the Aztec calendar highlights her integral role in the cyclical nature of time and existence. Her representation often signifies the perpetual renewal of life, death, and rebirth, embodying the calendar's intricate patterns and rhythms that governed agricultural practices, religious ceremonies, and societal norms in Aztec civilization. The festival of Cuatlique was a vital event marked by elaborate rituals and ceremonies to honor the Earth Goddess. During this celebration, offerings and sacrifices were made to ensure fertility, bountiful harvests, and the balance of cosmic forces, reflecting the deep veneration Aztecs held for Cuatlique's life-giving and destructive powers. Cuatlique's role in Aztec cosmology was multifaceted, representing both the nurturing aspects of the Earth and its formidable, destructive forces. She was perceived as the bridge between the terrestrial and the divine, embodying the essence of the Earth and its profound influence on the Aztec understanding of the universe. In Aztec warfare, Cuatlique's symbolism was invoked to inspire warriors with her dual nature of creation and destruction. Her fierce imagery and the myths surrounding her son Huitzilopochtli, the god of war, reinforced the idea that warriors were engaged in a divine struggle, mirroring the cosmic battles fought by the gods. 
Kwatlikwe's association with sacrifice was central to Aztec religion, reflecting the belief in the necessity of offerings to maintain cosmic order and appease deities. Her mythology, particularly the story of Huitzilopochtli's birth, underscored the importance of sacrifice in sustaining the cycles of life and death fundamental to Aztec spirituality. Kwatlikwe's legacy endures in modern Mexican culture, symbolizing the deep-rooted indigenous heritage. Her image and mythology resonate in various cultural expressions, from traditional festivals to popular art. Mexicans often view her as a powerful symbol of resilience and transformation, bridging ancient beliefs with contemporary identity. Contemporary scholars offer diverse interpretations of Cuatlicue, examining her role in pre-Columbian society and her lasting impact. Some argue she represents the duality of creation and destruction, while others see her as a feminist icon. These very perspectives highlight her complexity and relevance in ongoing cultural and academic discourse. Cuatlicue continues to influence modern art and literature, inspiring artists and writers to explore themes of life, death, and rebirth. Her powerful imagery and mythological significance provide a rich source of inspiration, resulting in works that celebrate her story and reinterpret her symbolism for contemporary audiences. Museums around the world feature Cuatlicue in their collections, showcasing her significance in Aztec culture. The presence of her statue and related artifacts offers a tangible connection to the past, allowing visitors to appreciate her artistic and historical importance. These exhibits help preserve and promote understanding of Aztec heritage. Within the broader context of Mesoamerican mythology, Cuatlicue stands out as a central figure. Her story intertwines with those of other deities, reflecting the interconnected nature of indigenous belief systems. By studying her, one gains insight into the rich tapestry of Mesoamerican cosmology and the cultural dynamics of the region. Cuatlicue, the earth goddess of the Aztecs, shares striking similarities with other earth goddesses across various cultures, emphasizing fertility, creation, and destruction. Her dual nature as a life-giver and destroyer mirrors goddesses like Gaia in Greek mythology and Kali in Hindu tradition, underscoring universal themes in ancient belief systems. Kwatlikwe's influence extends beyond ancient myth, touching contemporary spirituality and reconnection with earth-based practices. Modern spiritual movements often draw on her symbolism to emphasize the interconnectedness of life, death, and rebirth, reflecting a renewed appreciation for the ancient wisdom embedded in Aztec mythology and its relevance today. Preserving Aztec heritage through Cuatlicue's mythology is vital for cultural continuity. She encapsulates the rich narratives and spiritual depth of the Aztec civilization, offering insights into their worldview. Efforts to teach and celebrate her stories help maintain a connection to ancestral roots and foster a greater understanding of indigenous knowledge. Educational resources on Cuatlicue and Aztec mythology including books, documentaries, and guided museum tours, provide invaluable opportunities for learning. These resources enable deeper exploration of her myths, symbolism, and cultural significance, enriching our understanding of pre-Columbian Mesoamerican history and the profound spirituality that shaped the Aztec civilization. Cuatlicue's enduring legacy in Aztec mythology is a testament to the timeless nature of her story. Her powerful imagery and symbolic roles continue to inspire and educate, ensuring that the rich tapestry of Aztec culture remains vibrant. Cuatlicue remains a cornerstone of mythological studies, bridging ancient traditions with contemporary appreciation. This brings our current video to a close, but the journey into the captivating world of Aztec mythology is far from over. In our upcoming videos, we will unveil even more gods and goddesses from this rich, cultural tapestry. As you depart, we kindly encourage you to continue your engagement by commenting, liking, and subscribing to our channel. 
Your support is invaluable and helps us deliver more of the content you find compelling. We eagerly look forward to seeing you again soon for the next installment of our Aztec Mythology series. Until then, farewell.